All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today, I have to take the L. I have to own up to a mistake that I made with yesterday's video, which is actually pretty ironic, considering one of the videos that I made the day before that. So, many of you were quick to point out that yesterday's video had some factual inaccuracies, uh, and this is my fault. I'm just gonna own up to it. While researching the video, I found a tweet, and unfortunately, uh, I took it at face value. So, yesterday, I made a video about what was, I thought to be, like a road rage incident that unfolded in like New York City. It was like a guy driving into this car repeatedly then a dude gets out the car with a gun and like basically robs them. Unfortunately I didn't know the backstory to this situation and I tried to do some research on it but unfortunately considering I had the wrong idea of what was going on it's pretty hard to do research when you don't really know what you're looking up but this is the tweet in question and as you can see it says road rage incident someplace in New York City. So this is what I kind of knew going into the video but unfortunately it was just wrong. This is not what happened, and I have to basically spend today's video, or this video I should say, correcting yesterday's video because if you didn't know the day before that I made a video talking about how Moist Critical uh, one of the biggest commentators had gotten some inaccuracies with his video that he had made about the whole Salvo Pancakes death noodle situation and in that video I said it's pretty common for YouTubers to make mistakes like this it happens it's part of the job you know I feel like pretty much everybody gets at least one wrong so today I kind of just wanted to correct the matter and make sure that the story is actually told the way that it happened so this was actually not a road rage incident Incident, believe it or not. Uh, this was a full-out armed heist, and it, it literally is something out of, like, Grand Theft Auto, man. I mean, I really didn't think, uh, that was exactly what happened in this situation, because, like, that just sounds insane, right? Like, when you think about that, a, a car heist, like, what's going on here? Well, I don't really know the full extent of it, but I did find an article from the New York Post that actually goes through what happened and details it. So we're gonna go ahead and use that to correct today's video. So while I was researching, I was looking up, like, Road Rage New York City, right? And nothing was popping up regarding this, right? But of course, now that I know that it was an armed heist or whatever, I can find the article uh, basically confirming the information that uh, took place in that video. So if you haven't seen the video, I'm just going to go ahead real quick and play the clip. <laughs> So that was the clip in its entirety, and today we're going to go ahead and correct the record here. So, it turns out that this was actually a $20,000 heist in the Upper East Side of New York City. So the location was correct. It was New York City. This is in the Upper East Side. I guess that's a neighborhood in the New York City area. Video circulating on social media shows the driver of the Mercedes flooring it to catch up to the Toyota and plow into its side, sending the SUV spinning around at the intersection. The Mercedes rams the RAV4 again, forcing it on the sidewalk, the video shows. Shows. The RAV4 then tries to flee northbound, sending pedestrians jumping out of the way, according to the clip. Oh fuck, one person has heard saying. The Mercedes hits the car again on the passenger side, turning it 180 degrees once more and forcing it to a stop video shows. An armed man in a gray sweatshirt and black pants is seen jumping out of the Mercedes and banging on the passenger window of the RAV4. He's got a gun, he's got a gun, an onlooker yells, according to the video. So, just kind of wanted to confirm that this is the same situation with the details that we saw in the video. Brazen thieves rammed in car into an SUV and stole $20,000 from the disoriented driver during a brazen Upper East Side robbery Saturday, cops and sources said. In a dramatic scene that looked like something out of a Fast and Furious film, a black Mercedes slammed into a silver Toyota RAV4. As tires screeched and shocked, pedestrians jumped for cover, viral social media video showed. The Mercedes intentionally slammed into the RAV4 on 2nd Avenue near 91st Street around 4.40 p.m., cops said. The 55-year-old man driving the RAV4 had been driving northbound against traffic on 2nd Avenue near 91st Street when the Mercedes intentionally struck it. So apparently this was a 55-year-old man that was robbed for 
$20,000, which kind of leads me to question what exactly happened here, because, I mean, if you use common sense, like, you gotta know, these robbers didn't know beforehand that there was, like, $20,000 in the car unless they knew the person beforehand, like, that's kind of where my logic leads everything here. Either that or they just made, like, the best guess on a car possible, you know? I I'd Also, why are you driving around with 20 grand? Like, I don't want to blame the driver or the person who got robbed here, because at the end of the day, they didn't deserve to be the victim of a crime, but like I'm genuinely concerned why there's a 55 year old man driving around New York City with 20 grand and a black bag in his car. Like, I don't know if it was like for his job or if he know he's some sort of like big guy with money or something. I really don't know, but all I'm saying is personally, I have never been walking around with 20 grand on me, you know what I mean? But that kind of just leads me to believe that the robbers knew the guy beforehand or at least like knew he was going to have money or something. I don't know if they, you know, hunted him down through the streets of New York or if they just kind of like randomly ran into him and were like, oh, hey, let's get him. As of this time, it doesn't really seem like there's that many details. I don't believe the people who did this have even been caught. If so, the uh, article doesn't update and tell us whether or not they've been caught. Keep in mind, this only happened like two or three days ago now. But regardless, it's still a pretty insane scene. You know what I mean? A 55-year-old man getting robbed out of $20,000 from his car. Like, this is literally a Grand Theft Auto heist plot. You know what I mean? I, I genuinely feel like if I booted up the game right now, there'd be a new heist and Lester would be telling me to ram the car off the road and rob the driver like it literally doesn't seem like something that happens in the real world like the article says this is like something out of a Fast and Furious film it's like a movie scene but unfortunately no this was an entirely real situation and from my understanding the New York Police Department are still investigating the crime trying to figure out just who did it what happened and the other details one thing I do want to add as somebody who doesn't live in New York City I feel like I've seen a influx of news recently regarding crime in the city of New York. I don't know if it's just getting way worse there or what's going on, but it, it seems like crimes are getting pretty insane in New York. In fact, right here on the New York Post website, it says that summer 2022 crime, uh, 2022 crime, I don't know, I think it said 2020, I don't know, but 2022 crime surged in nearly every major category according to the New York Police Department, which obviously is not a good sign for the city. And when you have situations like this unfolding where people are, you know, walking to get their Starbucks coffee in the morning or whatever, and they look over to their left, and there's a fucking Grand Theft Auto heist unfolding in the middle of the city. Literally something out of, like I said, a Spider-Man movie or something. You know, people don't want to live around that, and it's a dangerous lifestyle. Obviously, rolling around, robbing people of 20 grand at a time, running people off the road. I don't really know what's going on up there in New York City, but uh, the police or somebody needs to get it under control because this is actually an insane story. Like, I just don't know exactly how they're going to be caught now, you know what I mean? It's been multiple days. It seems like they did a lot to kind of cover their tracks, and overall, I mean, the police don't seem to know anything yet, at least from what I've been able to research. So, honestly, I just wanted to make this video to kind of correct the record. I mean, obviously, it's not really fair for me to say other YouTubers have to hold themselves to the standard of correcting themselves. Then when it comes to me making mistakes, you know, I just want to brush it off or whatever, right? It might have just been the worst possible timing of all time for me to make a mistake like this, but it's a mistake I made nonetheless. So I wanted to correct the record on this situation and give you guys the actual story because it's actually way more insane than the original story. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new, around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, correcting the record and signing out.